It's time for Terry Talks Tactics. Yes, that alliteration works so well with Gareth <laughs> Wheeler, so we are going to attempt it for round two. Toronto FC is heading to the Eastern Conference semifinals, and of course it all kicks off this Sunday as they will be entertaining New York City FC. We know that it is going to be a tactical battle, both teams laden with star power, so let's start off with the coaching staff. Patrick Vieira, a rookie coach in Major League Soccer, the first time for him manning this bench, but let's go back to you seeing him in a different perspective. Yeah, good point. I think it's going to be definitely more of a tactical battle than the physical battle we saw in the last round against Philadelphia. I was fortunate enough to watch his first steps as a coach at Manchester City's under-21 team when I was taking my UEFA B badge. And this is where he first started to implement that 4-3-3 system. And it's a fascinating system. It's really attacking. Well, what is it about that 4-3-3 that works so well for them? Uh, well, he's gone to New York after getting his experience at Manchester City. And, and what's a little bit unique about it is normally you go to a team and you'll assess your group of players and you pick what system best suits them but he's gone there with a different mentality he's gone there you know we are going to play this attacking 4-3-3 system and this is how it's going to be you're going to fit into my system and it's been successful they've scored a league high 62 goals on the season and it works we'll start at the top so you, you play with a front three they're two wide players at the moment are David Villa and Harrison they're attacking players players that'll are a goal threat, they'll create opportunities. And then up top is your normally your focal point or a player who's very pacey, he'll run in behind, he'll stretch defenses, which will create pockets for David Villa and Harrison to play. It's crucial that Michael Bradley, he's not shifted out of that zone if he's playing that holding midfield role. It's vital that David Villa and Harrison aren't given time and space to play because they will hurt you. In midfield, it's a tight triangle at the moment, I think, Lampard and Pirlo, they'll play those positions. It's their job to get in, one of them to get into the box. The other one, will, he'll just surround the edge of the box for any cutbacks or any second balls. And then at the base of the, the triangle, you've got Iola. He's a key player for them. He starts off all their attacks. And then you go to the back four. They've got two full backs that are given license to get forward. They'll bomb forward. So one will overlap, try to get crosses. And while the other one, he'll get in at the back post, making another player in the box. So at times, in this system you're attacking with seven players. But you're talking about the things that they do well, perhaps the things that they don't do as well, relating to their back line, their goalkeeping out of all the teams in the postseason, they have conceded the most amount of goals, so perhaps that's an area of weakness that Toronto FC can exploit. Yeah, 100%. He sticks to his guns, Vieira. He wants, they won't, will never go long. They'll always try to play out of the back, and playing this way is really expansive. You make the pitch as big as you can, and by playing this way, if you make a mistake or TFC get their press right, all of a sudden they're going to get opportunities. Another way that TFC can can sort of expose them is when you've got seven players attacking, part of the system is picking up that second ball and pressing TFC when they lose the ball. So if TFC can have the composure to play out of that initial press, all of a sudden they'll be at New York's back three players, the two center halves and the holding midfielder. And, with, and that's where I think TFC are at the best attacking their counterattack at pace with Javinko, Cooper, Altidore. So I think it's going to be a very fascinating matchup of two of the best young managers in the MLS tactically and also all that star power. Well, I hope you guys are ready for Sunday. I mean, there's so much soccer going on. There's games at 3, 5, 7, 9 o'clock. Of course, the biggest one circled on our calendars. 7 o'clock, it is Toronto FC and New York City FC. Uh, you can still get tickets. They are available. Less than 1,000 are left at torontofc.ca, so make sure you you guys come down, cheer on the res and be a part of history.